This is Era Africa. My name is Nat Langwenya. I'm a mentor and your host today at Era Africa. We are very much excited to bring to you yet another episode of Era Africa. Today we are joined by Mr. Kolani Shongwe, co-director of OnTrack Eswatini. We'll be discussing a very much important topic about his journey in life, um, academically, as well as how he started business. Uh, thank you so much uh, for having me, Era Africa, and uh, thank you, Nsansa. I'm looking mm -hmm. forward uh, to a great uh, session, and it feels good to be a mentor at uh, Era Africa. We also would like to welcome everyone who is watching us right now. As you know, Era Africa is a peer-to-peer -peer mentorship platform where we share stories with young and upcoming youth to empower, to educate them, to make informed decisions in life on various future paths, whether it's academically, um, vocationally, as well as business-wise. Mr. Shong, before we get into our main conversation, just tell us briefly about yourself, where you come from, and uh, how, 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 how you started business. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, thank you so much. Um, Kolani Shong is a 29-year-old mm -hmm. a boy who grew up in Babani in the dusty streets of um, Sunduza, mm -hmm. who never knew that um, life would uh, tend to be what it is right now. Mm -hmm. um, grew up, I think you know very well that uh, most people <laughs> from the hood, they mm -hmm. grew up playing soccer, thinking mm -hmm. uh, that um, that's, that's, that's what I used to do. I used to play a lot of football, play soccer. I used mm -hmm. to think one good day probably I'll play for international teams. <laughs> 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 but then um, life became what it is right now. Um, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I studied, um, I did my high school here in Baban. Mm -hmm. and then later went uh, to the University of Eswatini where I uh, did PCOM. Um, with accounting and finance mm. measures. Mm. Mm. Yeah, then from then, I uh, decided, um, I'm currently employed, then decided also to, you know what, um, <laughs> I should start a business. Mm. So yeah, it's, uh, it's been a great journey. You are currently employed and you decided to start a business. Wow, interesting. Um, how did you come about um, starting a business? Mm, it is very simple. If um, on track as what well, we basically do it um, to do um, uh, deliveries for people mm -hmm. and um, run errands and also provide messenger services. Mm -hmm. um, during my uh, time at university, that's when we saw the need. Um, so since um, when you used to study, mm -hmm. uh, ra uh, rather when uh, it was busy time when you study uh, for, for your final exams, you never mm -hmm. used to have uh, time to go to town, mm -hmm. get a food for yourself or rather do other things. So we felt like, um, you know, if we'd have people assisting us while we focus on our studying, mm -hmm. assisting us in buying food for us, we'd, we'd appreciate that. So mm -hmm. that's when we thought, you know what, uh, there's probably a gap in the industry. We need to fill um, that gap. So that's how we came about uh, with the idea of uh, this business. Imagine this was uh, 2013, but mm -hmm. the business only came into existence in 2019. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the business idea came about in 2013, mm. and then from 2013 it took you it's how many years? Seven years mm. until around six years. Yeah, it's around six years mm. old it, because on uh, Swatini, if I remember mm. well, was registered in 2019, mm. um, and started operating around that time. Mm. So it took you around six years mm. to finally take your idea and make it uh, a reality. Mm. I mean. Can, can you can you can you just share briefly? Just tell a young person who has this idea, who has this burning it burning desire to 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 start a business, who who still having who who still have it in mind, how to conceptualize it, and finally make it into a reality that um, they still time and they still can do it. Uh, that, 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 that's very important for 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 for, uh, for a young person who's uh, still planning to do a business. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, planning is very important. We had the idea in 20, 2013, mm -hmm. but unfortunately we didn't have uh, enough resources. So <laughs> we thought uh, we should use the time for planning until we have the resources. Yeah. So we had a uh, proper time and enough time to, to focus on our planning. So I, I can say uh, planning was around 90% of the time, then 10% was just uh, execution because we had already used the six years uh, for planning. Mm -hmm. And I think with uh, proper determination, focus and hard work, you mm -hmm. can achieve it. Um, I, I'd like to encourage uh, young people out there that if you focus and determined and you have the burning desire to achieve that thing, uh, forget about the time, if it, mm -hmm. doesn't, if it doesn't start now, but it will start later. And um, to tell you the truth, 
we, we wanted to start big. Mm. Uh, but then we decided, no, we have to start eventually. So we mm-hmm. rather start small and uh, grow, grow. And I mean, it's, uh, we're tremendously growing. Yeah, um, as, 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 as you know, Antraka Swatini is one of uh, the fastest growing business there into messenger services and uh, parcel delivery. Uh, you currently, I think now you've covered almost all of Mbavana, if I'm not mistaken, and yeah. the business is growing. Yeah, that's very true. Like I said, we wanted to start big. We, in our mind, we thought we can just simply cover the whole, mm-hmm. uh, the whole Swatini. Mm-hmm. But then, um, in the planning processes, we felt like you know what, we are not going to start. So I'd like to encourage um, young, uh, young people that it's, mm-hmm. it's important to start. You rather start small, mm-hmm. uh, think big, and grow fast. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. yeah, that's what we did. We, we started here in Babane. Mm-hmm. We felt like no, let's just start small. We mm-hmm. with uh, two motorcycles. Mm-hmm. But eventually the demand, we felt there was a demand in Matawa, Pamanzini. People were calling now again, when are you coming this side? So we felt mm-hmm. like, um, no, let's also open a branch in Matapa. Let's also open a branch in Manzini. Currently we cover those um, three cities and we're looking forward to covering almost the whole nation. <laughs> Great. Uh, you, you're talking of starting small and then st- you start, think, you start, start small, small, you think you big, think big and, grow and then grow fast. Mm. What does it take to do those things? It's simple. Determination, hard work, and proper planning. Proper planning. I always emphasize on planning. You know, we all, mm-hmm. we all, we, most of us jump into decision making, mm-hmm. into the actual doing mm-hmm. of things rather than planning. Mm-hmm. Spend your time on planning. Mm-hmm. Once you start execution, it will be easy for you to do it. So you will always uh, revert back to your, to, to your, to your plan. Mm-hmm. Whenever you do something and it turns out, mm-hmm. you can always go back to your plan, uh, look where it went wrong. Mm-hmm. And start again. And start again. Start again. Start yeah. again until you. Young meet. person watching us now, our to our mentees, start small, think big, and grow fast. Simple. Uh, this is what Mr. Shonga is just sharing. Is, has just shared with us. You start small, you think big, and you grow fast. Ninety percent of planning, he said, is what they took them for six years to to as they as they were planning on track sweating and then. After the whole planning, just 10% was just execution. And then they are growing very fast. Start small, think big, and grow fast. Mr. Shong, um, now, uh, there is a young person who is watching us right now. Mm. He's employed. How do you balance between work, that is your 9 to 5 job, your full-time employment, Mm -hmm. and then investing into your idea and then being full-time running your side job, your, your side business mm-hmm. rather. Mm-hmm. How do you balance the two? Uh, to be honest with you, it's not very easy. <laughs> <laughs> it is an extreme sport. <laughs> but, but with the zeal and, mm-hmm. uh, and, and burning desire to, to, to make it, yeah. it, it is definitely uh, doable. Uh, to be honest with you, I had to forego mm-hmm. uh, some of the things, leisure time, social time, mm-hmm. uh, I had to forego all those. Mm-hmm. Um, then with hard work, and also you know that your current employer wants um, the best from you at work, yeah. so you have yeah. to give it all, mm-hmm. since you also expecting the best from your employees. Mm-hmm. So I, I spend most of the time at work, mm-hmm. then check on the business uh, mm-hmm. side later. So mm-hmm. it, uh, it, it takes a lot of work, determination, but it's possible. I'd like to encourage um, uh, young people that it, it is possible. If you want it, you will achieve it. Just uh, make sure that you, you plan it proper, that your, your hours, how you will um, mm-hmm. use your hours uh, proper. I mean, you have 24 hours of the day, so you can always, I mean, yeah. it's, it's only eight hours at work. So yeah. you can always uh, portion your time properly. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. this is how you go going to do it. Otherwise, um, I'm still giving it the best at work <laughs> and also business side. I mean, we're doing quite well. What I did was to sit down, mm-hmm. planning again, mm-hmm. see how I'll use my hours mm-hmm. daily. At times, my, my job is very demanding. So at times, it's not even eight to five. It's eight until late. So you <laughs> always make sure that um, you do your proper planning. You work yeah. even on weekends yeah. just to make sure that um, you, you cover as much as you can and uh, mm-hmm. deliver, since you also expo- expect people to deliver the best. As a young person who wants to start business, I- I'm sure you are very, very much following and y- you, 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 are taking, you are taking it from Mr. Shone, how he balanced things. There are things you must forego 
Just let them go. Forget about them. Focus on building yourself, focus on growing yourself, and focus on growing a business. That is, if you want to succeed in business, that is also if you want to deliver the best in your employer. Because most of young people are trapped uh, in their eight to five job. Some others want to jump off and start businesses, but they can't. Some others are trapped, they don't know where to start. Some others do have the ideas, but they can't execute. They are, they are trapped with friends, they are trapped with other activities. That, that does not benefit themselves. That does not grow themselves. That does not push them to where they want to be. That does not push them closer to their visions. So there are things you should let go if you want to succeed, if you want to start a business, if you want to grow as a young person. So we, we, need, to, we need to let go of some other things and then focus on building and growing our lives. Mr. Shonga, um, there is uh, one thing I want you just to share with young people. What is this one thing? Just one. You so wish every young person who is determined, who want to grow, should have just one. Uh, I, 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 it is basically two things. Most of it, it should be procrastination and determination. As, as youth, most of, uh, most of the things we do is uh, we procrastinate. Mm. We normally feel like, um, I'll start this thing once I have the money. Mm. I will start this thing once I have the network. Mm. I will start this thing. Yet you can start small. Start where you are. So had I knew this thing earlier, probably I would have started the business in 2014. So if, if, but I had to plan uh, at the same time, use this time for planning and determination. You know, with determination, if you really want the thing, th some other things will come naturally to you, mm -hmm. naturally, like time management, mm -hmm. planning, and foregoing other things, like I said. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the one thing that will be guiding you is your determination. So I, I tell youth out, the youth out there that um, you really need to focus and be determined and uh, stop procrastination, thinking that, uh, you know what, I'll draw the business plan tomorrow. I mean, I, I still don't have the money. Mm -hmm. So draw the business plan. Have everything ready now. You don't know who, you don't know who, for, who like, who will come uh, forth to assist you. Or rather, someone will be having the same idea mm -hmm. as you, but having the resources, and you do not have the resources. So you can partner with someone else. I also have a, a partner, as you mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, that um, I'm a court director at on track certainly. And uh, fortunate enough, we have uh, different skills, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it helps the business a lot, mm -hmm. a lot. And he's also my age. He's also of your age. You, you're talking of having a partner with different skills. Yeah. Wow. Um, what is the importance of uh, partnerships? Partnerships, having a partner with different skills, coming together and contribute meaningfully and growing in IT. What is the importance of partnerships in starting a business? Yeah, uh, at times when you start a business, you, you may want to, 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 to go sole, mm -hmm. but then you realize that you do not have uh, probably enough resources, yeah. you do not have uh, all the skills. Mm -hmm. So you really need a partner to complement uh, each other. So even with that, on Tracker Sotini, he is the operations manager. Yes. I focus more on marketing and finance because mm -hmm. uh, more of the operations side, he, he's good at. Uh, so it's, uh, it's very important if you, you plan uh, to have a business and you do not have uh, the ena uh, enough resources, you can engage with uh, someone mm -hmm. with the offer, different skills. And most people tend to get into partnership with friends just because uh, <laughs> they want to hang around with yeah. friends. They have this idea yeah. with same skills, which I mean will limit uh, growth for the business. So look for someone with that. Uh, which, with, with whom you have uh, different skills mm -hmm. and uh, different ideas, and mm -hmm. um, so match them together, match them together, and complement each other, each and other. Uh, move forward. Yeah. You know, it's very important. That's very important because most businesses um, mm -hmm. turn out not to succeed in partnership because of uh, you know we, we as partners mm -hmm. we will not give the same energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are right. You are right. Um, someone said um, businesses. A business is tested with time. You've been here around, I think, is it March 2019? It uh, should be July 2019. Oh, it yeah. should be July 2019, okay. July 2019, you've just crossed the year mm -hmm. in business. Um, they say 
the first 90 days are the most fascinating in business. Mm -hmm. They are the toughest days. What kept you going? Um, in the first 90 days, it was uh, very difficult, like she said. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm happy you noted that. <laughs> you know, you know we, we, had to, we had to start on uh, marketing, mm. marketing our services, mm -hmm. uh, like vigorous marketing. Mm -hmm. um, we also had uh, to do a launch. Um, all those things uh, require a lot of finance. Yeah. Fin and um, we also, it's a new concept in uh, Swatini. Mm -hmm. So we also had to explain to people what, what is this, what is this. Because most people, they saw on track of Swatini, but they never took their time to understand. So we had to uh, vigorously market and train our staff and um, mm -hmm. also be able to reach out there to people that um, this is what we're doing, this is what we're doing. So, and in the first a few days, and at times it go a day without, uh, uh, without any sales. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, but the determination and zeal to to succeed it, it kept us going otherwise um, from then onwards it, uh, everything stabilizes and now we are more on uh, growing yeah more on growing mm -hmm. all right the first 90 days what did it teach you what lesson did you get what is this one important skill mm -hmm. every entrepreneur in business should have the, the, the first 90 days what what made us to to, to not to lose focus it's mm -hmm. our plan you know we have a 10 year plan we have a 10-year mm -hmm. plan currently. Mm -hmm. So we were expecting such to happen for the first, first year, actually. Mm -hmm. So we, we'd always go back to our plan our, during our meetings, mm -hmm. always go back to our plan. Where are we with our plan? 90 days, um, two months, mm -hmm. it's been a year now. Where are we with our current plan? And mm -hmm. we, we only noted that we are moving faster than expected. So we always we have the guide. I can I can call it the guide, the guide. where we can always, we always refer to. It. So okay, this is where we are right now. Mm -hmm. um, actuals versus uh, the plan. Mm -hmm. Are we still uh, in line with the plan? So we, we always check the plan. And yeah, we are still in line. Actually, we are ahead of the plan. Interesting. A fastest growing business led by young people. Mm -hmm. So you've been in the market for quite some time. What are the existing opportunities in your value chain that? That you can share, that you can share in with with young people whom they can tap into. You you've been in this business and you've seen that there are some gaps mm -hmm. in 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 the, in the transportation and it's transportation and fleet. It's messenger business. Mm -hmm. It's transportation and fleet. Other existing opportunities that young people can tap into that they haven't thought of here in Eswatini, just to either complement your business or else to maybe do business with you or what, what are those existing gaps that you see in your value chain? Mm -hmm. All right, uh, that's good. Actually, in a, a certain, I just realized that um, we have uh, so many business opportunities, especially for the youth. The only thing it's uh, probably our culture. We grew up knowing that um, an easiest business, business is to buy and sell. Uh, buy fruits, mm. uh, sell them, open a supermarket and, and sell, sell, rather than thinking of uh, something unique. So mm -hmm. I'd encourage people to think of uh, something uh, unique. Currently, I, I can tell you, we, we have uh, motorcycles. Mm -hmm. we, we, in our business, we have a quite number of motorcycles and other mm -hmm. people have uh, motorcycles. But to repair those motorcycles can be, a, a, can be troublesome yeah. uh, at a point in time. So that's when you decide, or, and also uh, the, the gear. Mm -hmm. Gear for motorcycle drivers. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, 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 we have to buy them in our neighboring countries. Mm -hmm. it's, it's quite difficult to get them at times here in Eswatini. Mm -hmm. So these are the opportunities that you, re you realize that, you know, I've started this business, mm -hmm. but, but now, the gaps I, now. The, the, here are the gaps that mm -hmm. need to be filled. So someone else can uh, tap into that uh, business. Otherwise, we have uh, quite a number of um, opportunities in here in Switzerland. Since we are still a developing country, mm -hmm. we can also look uh, what developed countries are doing. Are, are, are doing. So we can uh, tap into those um, opportunities. I mean, you can also mm -hmm. see that s is uh, growing as well. So yeah. we can uh, capitalize on that as uh, uh, the youth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Um, how do you source financing for an idea just like yours? I believe the first time you pitched into financial institutions, they rejected the idea. How do you, how do you then finance an idea that financial institutions are not willing to finance and then have it growing and running to a point whereby financial institutions, where I believe now they are starting to approach you for finance? 
yeah, that's that, that's the issue. And most, like I said earlier, on most, most, most young uh, entrepreneurs, it's mm -hmm. that's the main problem. Yeah. We also wanted to start big, have trucks <laughs> and so forth. But now, since we knew we, we couldn't obtain uh, financing, yeah. Yeah. we thought, you know what, let's start small. Mm -hmm. Let's start small. Let's see how we can move to ha to owning trucks, but mm -hmm. start small. That's so small. we decided to, you know what, we can afford um, saving and getting a motorcycle. So mm. but we just started with two motorcycles, mm. but now we, I, I think you can, you see cars, parkings <laughs> and so forth. Yeah. So that's how, that's how we started. We applied for finances, got rejected here and there. <laughs> <laughs> to, to date, mm. uh, our company hasn't been uh, financed externally. Mm. To date, I mean, it's it's financed uh, internally, and now it's able to to do things on its own. I mean, I, I want to believe currently, if we we go to the bank and ask for finance, we we'd probably get it. And also, we have um, at encourage um, the young entrepreneurs. We have um, youth enterprise revolving fund. Mm. They, they they should apply there. I mean, uh, I've seen uh, I've seen quite a number of people getting uh, uh, assistance. assistance from from, yeah. from them. We haven't, yeah. but I've seen. So I, I want, I'd like to encourage them. Um, I mean, it's a good initiative by uh, mm -hmm. the Ministry of uh, youth, uh, youth Sports and Culture. Sports and Culture, yeah. yeah. The government is trying through the Youth Enterprise Fund to finance ideas for SMEs mm -hmm. and help entrepreneurs and startups. Uh, recently, I just saw they are doing, what is it? They, they finance orders. Mm -hmm. You, you, you come with an order and then they finance it and then you repay it. Mm -hmm. Unlike writing a business plan and then they go for evaluation, they just finance orders. I just saw that product. I don't know if it's running now. Okay, uh, going back into your business, you say now you are at the growing stage. Um, uh, last week, I think I was looking at uh, financial markets in Africa. I saw, I saw April. April has run up to, is it three trillion? And, and, and value. Mm -hmm. It's almost even closer or more than the GDP of Africa at large. It's one single company. Mm -hmm. It started small and then it grew big to where it is now. Mm -hmm. And mo most businesses, especially in the tech space, uh, it's technology, it's technology and agriculture, they are, they are those ones that uh, grow in value mm -hmm. and they, they they, they grow big and they are sustainable at times. In, in times like this, we're in the fourth industrial revolution. And uh, I believe your transportation business is uh, part of, is part and package of the 4IR. Yeah. And the, 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 those are new businesses emerging out of, out of the fourth industrial revolution. What are others, except for transport? Mm -hmm. Um, looking at the Eswatini context, in the context of Eswatini, mm -hmm. others that people can start new ideas out of the blue, unfinanceable, which they can finance from their pockets, that they can start. Okay, uh, look, currently uh, for IR, I mean, we, we, all, we, we all see mm -hmm. how business are evolving and uh, now it's, it's time for us as uh, youth entrepreneurs to, 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 to get in those uh, spaces. I mean, in our business, in the transport uh, mm -hmm. industry, I think you can see how uh, things are right now, yeah. very growing fast, very I mean, growing. very growing. and. Um, Looking at the fact that uh, in the current uh, pandemic, mm -hmm. it, it hasn't been easy to move uh, <laughs> things around. But now people, even companies now, they realize that, she, you know, it's, it's, it's important to, 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 to have uh, delivery yeah. companies. Yeah. And people now can, uh, with 4IR, we have uh, these online shops and so forth. Mm. So people buy things online, online, but the thing is, those things need uh, to be delivered. Yeah. So Transport, in. transport industry is very, it's, uh, it's uh, growing and if you look mm -hmm. in, into the next uh, few years here in Switzerland, mm -hmm. we'll be delivering using drones. I mean, yeah. they've done it uh, in the developed uh, countries. Yeah. They are, actually, they are now starting to cut the number of drones. Yeah. <laughs> as we are here, uh, still... Um, You're still skeptical and once they see a drone, on, you are arrested sometimes. Yeah, so we are still <laughs> moving on to, to, to have uh, those. So um, we, we can say that uh, times okay. are changing. So we need, to, as youth, we need to uh, focus uh, through social media. You can learn, mm -hmm. inter use internet properly and uh, for learning and seeing mm -hmm. the gaps which you can, uh, you can, feel, you can yeah. feel in. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, technology-wise, I mean, everything's changing. Yeah, yeah. They, they, say, they say if you're a young person or everyone in general, you cannot complain, especially in this era, and say you don't have information. Information is everywhere mm -hmm. with the help of the internet. Um, use the internet wisely information is everywhere you can get 
everything you want. You, your questions can be, uh, every question you have can be answered in the internet. And then you use social media um, wisely to get uh, ideas to see what people are doing around. Uh, not only just playing on social media, but using it for, for, your, for, your, for your benefit and for your, for your growth. COVID-19 has just uh, calmed and wrecked economy, economies. A lot of economies are suffering through this uh, COVID-19 and uh, some other businesses cannot open. Offices will be closed. Some others have been closed as well. Um, even after lifting of lockdowns, uh, there are other businesses that cannot make it again back into the market. Right, yeah. So it's the bad side and also an opportunity as well because there are other new businesses that Imagine, will emerge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, there are new businesses that will emerge. Um, one of them is yours. I think after the lockdown, people realize that uh, they, they do need a, a chauffeur to take their stuff in the shop and then deliver them into the house. Um, and it, it, it brought a good opportunity for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's unfortunate, yeah, but that, that, that's the sad reality. You know, uh, in terms of structure, like I said, you know, the first two months explaining this uh, thing, but uh, as soon as this uh, pandemic uh, started, people realized that, you know, it's not every time where I need to go to the mall, every time where I need to go to town. I can, see, I can uh, simply text someone or rather go into an app and. Uh, mm -hmm get things delivered to the com comfort of my home you know and also in offices and uh, you know even like you said you mentioned that um, some businesses uh, closed office and closed mm -hmm. shop uh, mm -hmm. during the pandemic mm -hmm. but it's only now that they realize most of them realize that they actually do not need the office space they can work at home <laughs> and um, get things uh, delivered uh, to, to people i mean some restaurants now they operate at home they mm -hmm. cook it's no longer a restaurant like a place they just yeah. uh, cook mm -hmm. we pick up and, uh, and, then and, deliver, I mean, and some of them can even uh, attest to you that they actually their sales mm -hmm. um, started to grow because uh, they were to able to they started to pick up because they were able to cut um, mm -hmm. some of their expenses even profits now are good. Also, some are, are, are operating because I mean some they are still in so they mm -hmm. are still in uh, they are still in town. But now mm -hmm. people um, are ordering from their comfort of their home and we mm -hmm. we we do the the delivery. So mm -hmm. to some this uh, pandemic it's an Opportunity to mm -hmm. some, I mean, it's, it's, it's a very sad because um, the type of product or the type of service they provided, they, they need to be out there. Yeah, so um, we also noted that we contributed uh, to pollution reduction since um, 10 people going driving to town and uh, rather 10 people that are staying at home in comfort of their own, we can just uh, use um, one motorcycle to deliver um, and, uh, <laughs> to their comfort of their own. So, I mean, noise pollution and air pollution. Noise I mean, pollution yeah, and air indirectly. pollution. Indirectly. Yeah, you try to reduce. Mm. Okay. Um, I think we are, as we head towards our closing, um, I, want, I want you to take us through your thoughts as to how can our education system the way we were educated, the way we were taught, the way our education system is structured. How can it, it be changed to suit us during this time, to suit our kids, those, those ones that are still growing? How can it be changed so that it suits them to fit the time we live in now, so that they are not taught the way we were taught? Um, that, 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 that's very true, Tasha. You know, um, uh, current times are different from uh, back then, so we mm -hmm. constantly need to improve and uh, change probably our uh, education system. Otherwise, our current education system is good but needs improvement. Uh, I mean, we uh, at, at a tender age, you know, I think uh, kids need to be taught saving, saving, savings, and how to spend money. You know, mm -hmm. we are not taught the, the, those things. It's only now that we realize, you know, had I started saving years ago, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it would have been easy for me to start a business or, uh, after. I completed my uh, secondary or high school. So we need to constantly change, uh, teach kids that uh, savings. And also, you know, we, we need to, to, to teach kids that it's not only about um, going to an office and uh, being employed and uh, working. There are other things in which you can uh, make money. You know, there are these things where people make money through YouTube views and so forth. They yeah. just uh, create content, yeah. I mean, and be relevant on what's happening mm -hmm. uh, at that time, you know, you know. And also sports, you know, in our country, sports, um, uh, most people, they do not, uh, most people, I mean, it's still not... Uh, uh, something that you can use for a living, mm -hmm. th th that you can do for a living, I mean. Mm -hmm. but. We, st we still need to encourage kids because mo most people are talented but you, know, you find that um, 
that person is, is talented sports or and so forth but now forced to go to school and yeah. underperform and end up not even focusing on this uh, uh, God-given talent. God -given talent. So we need to, to, to our academic. They, they need to change. Even now, we in the era we are currently, mm -hmm. we more digital. Yeah. More digital. So our, our our education system needs to move on with with, with the times. With you know, we have uh, people making money through being social media influences. But mm -hmm. I mean, those are things that you learn on the ground. I mean, mm. it's not taught. Had it been taught and you have a qualification to be a social media influence, mm. that would have been a uh, good money. Yeah, good, good, good thing to do. Mm. Thank you for watching us and thank you for joining us live. And we believe this discussion has shaped something. It has brought something into your mind. It is, it will, it will bring change into you. As you have heard from Mr. Kolani Shongwe, that there is a lot of things you can do just to make money. Maybe make money online. Make, make maybe make money doing stuff for other people. As a young person, you can't just be seated doing nothing. There has to be something you do. There has to be there has to be something that you do that generates money for you. There has to be something you just look around and see what what skills, what value can you offer into the market and get paid for. As a young person, don't just be seated and lax. Don't just wait to be fed something. There is information all over. The internet has brought so much information into your fingertips. You should do your research. You should be researching, finding out what's new, finding out what you can do, finding out things and new trends. You might find that there is an opportunity in every sector and in every space. For today, that's all for you. Thank you for watching. And from us, the Era Africa team, we say it's your time. <laughs>